Hi everyone, it's Barry here from Matusi Craft. Thank you for joining me today, and thank you for joining me for my re-edit of my um, of yesterday's Funfold Friday, which I where I showed you how to make this um, never-ending card. I've decided to redo it again just to make it a little bit easier for you to hopefully follow, because um, I did make a few mistakes during the live, and um, I know I could do better. So I'm recording it again for you, just so I can show you how to do this. And do apologise, there, Tommy has just decided to. Um, jump on the table come on off you get cat um so there we go so i'm going to re show you how to redo this so if you didn't haven't seen one of these before um then this is a never ending card so you can basically turn it around and it just continues going okay so you've got four sides to it so i decided to turn this into a little valentine's day card or or, or just an i love you card and um, but it is suitable for any occasion as well so yeah you turn it around it just keeps on going and going and it never stops okay so in the very last one there i've left this white panel here so you can pop a sentiment on this if you wish so that's that so i'm going to show you how to do this again and um, products which i've used on this one here is a be mine designer series paper which is available to purchase from our online shop. So if I just pop the link up there for you right now, if you want to head over to matusicrafts.com forward slash shop, you can purchase anything which you see me using currently at the moment, if it's still available. Um, so yes, so do have a little look at that one as well. So the Be Mine Design Series paper is what I'm going to be using here. It's really cute. We've got these little bumblebees and these hearts. I thought it was just quite a fun little card. And I'm going to be using the Adoring Hearts Hybrid Embossing Folder and dies to create these hearts right here and I'm also going to be using the mini alphabet dies yep that's those ones there to create the letters so the I love you in that as well there we go so that's what I'm going to do and that's what I'm going to show you how to do once again right now so sit back relax and enjoy so what you're going to need to do for this, or what the products which you're going to need, or supplies really, is you're going to need to use a bit of card base. This is measuring 8x8, eight eight, so I've decided to use the um, Poppy Parade cardstock here for this one, so a nice red. And I have got four squares of my Be Mine Designer Series paper. So these are measuring 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters, and you need four of these. Okay. And then you will need one piece of um, basic white, so for your sentiment, tiny sentiment as it is, but it, yeah, your sentiment here, and this is measuring one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths of an inch. With your designer series paper, what you want to do is you want to cut these into four squares um, each, so turn four squares into another four squares, and um, at one and seven eighths and one and seven eighths. So let's just do that one right now. What I would suggest you do is when you're cutting it though, you keep them in order so it's going to be nice and easy for you to match the pattern up later on. So just place them out on your table, come back as you've cut them. So it's always handy just to try and keep it there because it saves you that time when you're coming to stick it down later on. That when you stick them onto the four panels on here they're in the correct order so it's just a little bit easy for you so just go ahead and just cut those four out like that and do that for all four pieces so once you've gone ahead and you've gone and cut all of those pieces they're all to one side ready for sticking down later on pop your other bit of basic white which you've got there to one side that's going to go onto that in a moment Bring over your card base, which you've done. Remember, this is cut to 8 by 8 inches, and you want to score this at 2, 4, and 6 inches on all sides. So basically, we're going to go in and go 2, 4, and 6, and then rotate it around, and then do that again. 2, 4, and 6. Just pop your trimmer to one side for a moment and then what you want to do is you then want to fold and burnish all of these lines. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you will want to cut out the centre square. So you can do that one or two. you can do that either by using your um your attachment and the blade attachments here from the take your pick tool. You can then go ahead and you can go and cut that one out if you want to. Or you can do it the way that I'm going to do it and fold it in half, pop it back into your trimmer again. 
and line it up at two inches and then cut down to that score line okay just push a little bit harder because you are going to be going through two sides of paper and then you can then take it over to six inches and then cut down again to that first score line like so and then line up at two inches right here and then you can then take out that basically what I've done is I put the blade in the middle rather than starting from the end because I didn't want to cut that and that allows me to then take out the center portion just like that so this is scrap we don't need this part anymore and that there is now the making of our never-ending card right so this is the part where I went wrong on my live yesterday because I glued it together wrong so I'm going to bring in my template here so with your template you've got it as I've got it here right now so it's all folded up, everything is all done. What you want to do is you want to glue this one and this one together, this one and this one together, and then this one and this one, and then this one and this one. And then that's going to create your square, okay? So if I do that on here, so we are going to be, first of all, we're going to go with this one and this one here, and then this one and this one. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can glue those ones together. So I'm going to use some wet glue because I just find it just um, is a stronger hold. And bring that one over. Bring that one over as well whilst you're doing it and just manipulate it if need be just so that you get a gap in between. Okay. And then just if you need to just readjust your there, the fold lines you can do. So just hold that in place, just wait for that to set up. Once you've done that one, then we can then go ahead and we can go and do this one over here. And then bring that one over. And again, just manipulate if need be. Fold over the top where the glue is sometimes just helps push spread it around a little bit. But if you've gone too close to the edge, it's going to push it out, so just be careful with that. So that's that one, okay? Now, what we want to do is we now want to bring this one over here and this one over here, like this. So remember, this is now what we've got, okay? So it's now going to be this one, this one, this one, and this one here, okay? And then just stick those together. Okay, just bring that in just to make sure they line up nicely and I've got a nice gap there. Nothing's overlapping, so that's fine. And I can do exactly the same for this one over here. So if you want to giggle with me making mistakes and know that we do make everyone makes mistakes, go and watch yesterday's live when I did this. <laughs> it, it will come out alright in the end, but I did get a little bit um <laughs> get a little bit confused for I couldn't see see what I'd done wrong. But there we go, that's what happens when you go live, isn't it? So that there is basically our never ending card. So as so we can now turn it around. We can then, it just needs a little bit of manipulation of the first time because obviously some of those score lines just are going the wrong way. So we just need to just make everything nice and crisp as we're doing it. And if anything is kind of like just, and then just, you just turn it, keep turning it and turning it. And the more you do it, the easier it's going to become. So the, fir the first couple of folds may be a little bit hard, but then or it feels like you're kind of breaking it, but just work with it. Which is why it's quite important that when you're sticking it down, that you make sure things don't, that you've got nothing like overlapping. 
and there you have it that there is basically your never-ending card so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decorate this but you may want to just have whilst you've done this and played with this a few times just to make sure it's working smoothly it's now decide on how you want this to be decorated and what part you want to be the front of your card because it can stand up okay so it can it can kind of stand up this way okay I'm just going to have a little look at my prototype here for a moment so it can kind of stand up that way if you want so that could be your front and then it could go that way then it could go that way again and then it can go that last and then it can go that way again there so just have a little have a little think so i'm going to mark that's how i'm going to want it so i'm going to want the front to stand up like this so it's going that way and then i'm going to then it can go that way and that's the side which i want to actually be on display when i'm doing it so I'm just going to mark the front now. So I'm going to put some crosses on here, and I know that this is going to be my first page. Okay, and that's the half of the way that I'm, and I'm going to pop an arrow down saying that's the bottom. Okay, so that when I stick it on, I know that that's it. Otherwise, if I stick it on the design series paper is around this way, it's not going to work the way that I want. So just pay attention to this part and make sure you are happy with the folds rather than just sticking it on and going oh it's not working it's not i can't do nothing with it now it's not standing up all right so just just pay a little bit of attention spend a little bit of time working out where you want it to be and pop yourself some marks down to guide yourself all right so now i know that's going to be happy that way and that is going to, going to be happy with it that way and now i'm going to be happy with it that way and i know i'm going to be happy with it that way okay and then we're back to the beginning again everything is in the correct way and i know this is my bottom all right that's enough waffling with that part so we can now bring in our designer series paper and again this is the paper which we got from earlier on so we've got these ones here so we can then go ahead and we can then stick these to the front like so okay so you can then go ahead and we can then stick all four of those on and we're going to do that i'm only going to decorate the front first because then i'm going to forget where my what is my front so i'm just going to do the front first so a bit of glue on these and then just stick all four down like that. Then eventually we're going to go through and we're going to do that on all of these panels like this. But before I do that so I get don't get confused with where my front of my card is, I'm going to do my next decoration, okay? So I'm going to cut myself out. Now I've actually already done these, but I will just explain to you what I've gone and done. So I've used the mini alphabet dies here. These are the new ones from the new mini catalogue, okay? And it is one large die like this. So it cuts all the letters out all at once. So you can either do it like I've gone and done here and cut them all out on one piece of paper then pop the ones which you don't use in like a little bag for later use if you want to or you can go through and you can cut some little pieces of paper out like so like this and then you can then selectively pick out what letters you want to spell out okay i've gone and done it this way so what i've done is i used a bit of black card i used myself some self-adhesive sheets so these are these things right here some self-adhesive sheets Okay, that's just basically it's a sticky piece which you stick onto the back of your cardstock. You then die cut it like this, and then that puts all of these that sticky layer on the back of all of your letters. So what you can then do is you can then go through and then you can then peel that backing off and then stick it down without having to put glue on them because they do cut out quite quite small and trying to get some tiny bits of glue on that is quite difficult so if you want the self adhesive sheets work really well and I'll show you that when I peel it off and I stick those down on, like, on the next part so that's the um, that's the mini alphabet dies I think one definitely worth having in your collection if you haven't got an alphabet set already or if you have got an alphabet set this is a good one to have as well I think I'm going to use this one quite a lot actually I like the size of them I like the I, I, yeah I just think the size of them they're not too big they're not too small and they're quite chunky as well which I quite, I quite like so I've gone ahead and I've gone and done that and I've gone and spelled out the words I 
love. So we've got and there's my e there, and we've got you, and I've got a spell to it like so. Okay, so we'll stick those onto the next part in a second. Let's just pop those to one side. The next thing I've gone and done is I've gone and got cut out, used the Adoring Hearts dies and the Hybrid Embossing Folder, and that cuts these out right here. So I've done a bit of a letterpress technique, and it embosses and inks at the same time. So I've gone ahead now, I'm I will show you how it's done, but these are what I've got right here. So I've got a selection of ones, because I did two cards yesterday, I've got some spares, so I'm going to use these ones for today, and I'm going to go multicolored with my pool party and my petal pink. All right, but I will show you for the purpose of this video how it's done if you've not seen anything like this before, because it's a really, really interesting thing. So we've got all of these dies, one in flink. So we've got the detail dies, which we can do in here, a banner. But this is the one which I'm going to be using right here. I'm also going to take my embossing folder. Is this one and you're going to need to have yourself I did have it a piece of six by six um, basic white cardstock and that is the one which is then going to go into your embossing folder so what we want to do and you're going to need yourself a brayer if you want to ink this up all right so I'm going to go with um, I'm just I'm going to try a different color I'm going to try let's try bubble bath and see what bubble bath looks like on this Okay, and we're going to ink up the side which has got the um, stamping up logo on that. And we just ink up the brayer. So you pick it up and then you just run the brayer along. Pick up and then down. So you then just move it along like that. So you're getting a nice coverage of ink on your brayer, like so. And then we then. run this over this okay it's quite light so you may not see anything made but there is ink transferring over onto this and I'm picking up every time I do it as well so that I'm then if you want to just going to do a bit more ink then we can pick up some more on the brayer If you want to add some more onto this, you can do like that. Okay, so just pop that to one side, pop your lid on that, and pop your brayer to one side so you don't get any ink on it. Over there, and then what we want to do is we then want to then pop our die sit in. This, so just use those metal parts in the middle there to kind of sit it in and it sits in. Then we then want to take our paper and we're over like that now and then oh try not to move it in there like I've just kind of done. And then sandwich that down. Okay. Bring over your cutting machine. And it's a 3D one, so you'll need plate one and plate four for this. Pop it in hinge first. And then you can then run that through the machine. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna emboss, cut, and color in one per, in one pass. Then when we take this off, we can remove that die. Remember there is still excess inks. Just be careful if you're using a strong ink especially that you don't it's not transferred over to your fingers and you're gonna get dirty. But just look at how pretty that is. It cuts them, so you get this lovely outline as well, but it cuts out all of these hearts, and they have then been embossed and also coloured on the debossed side. So I think they're really, really pretty. It's a really lovely technique. So it's, kind of, it's a letterpress technique, really. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. 
So that's that. So you can pop that to one side if you're finished with that so that you can then cut that one up. We're done with this as well, but you can then make yourself a nice card with this afterwards. Okay, and then you've got yourself all of these hot. Okay, so that's basically what it is. The back side is nice as well. If you don't, if you don't do any embossing, obviously that's what you're going to be. It's going to look like, which is really, really nice as well. So that's those. So you can pop those to one side, and you can work with those. Now I'm going to use the colours which I initially done, which is the pool party and the petal pink, which coordinates with the paper, which I've got right here. Okay, and I just need to little, little have a little look. At how I want this to go so I have got that one and that one that one and that one and then let's end up on those ones over there so that's kind of the pattern which I want and I'm gonna to want to stick I love you on all of these pieces like that so this is where you're going to need your take your pick tool and we just kind of pry off the backing there that's then giving me a, a sticky back which I can then take this and then I can then stick on here and go I and then that has then stuck without having to mess around with any wet glue it's seeping, seeping out everywhere so adhesive sheets are very handy to have in your collection just remember to use them because we've had them for a long time we do, we do die cutting like this and go oh, should have used the adhesive sheets it would have been easier wouldn't it so um yeah so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to stick all the rest of these letters down on these hearts There we have it. So I've just gone and done the. I've just gone and stuck everything down. You probably sped that up. You can see how easy that was. Just stick all of those down. I love you. And there we go. We're done. So bring over your card once again. Okay. And I'm going to stick on the eye over onto this one here. And I'm going to use this on dimensionals here. So it just gives it a little bit of height. And then this is then going to at least then identify where the front of my card is. And then I can go ahead and then stick the designer series paper down on the rest of it and then stick the rest of it down as I'm going. So we're gonna stick the eye up over here, like that, and we are good. You know, And that stands up like that. Turn it over and then stick on the rest of your designer series paper, which you have got inside and do that for, and then stick on the love turn it over, then stick on the U, and so on. So just go ahead and do all of those bits now. And there we have it. So that's the end. So then we come back to the beginning again with I love you. And then sentiment in there. So and then that comes in. I remember that then stands up. So it's kind of, it's standing up. So it's look, looking like that. Or it will stand up like this. So then you can see the love, which I quite like. So at least then the, the, the main focus, the love part, is the part which can be on display, which is why I decided I wanted it to make sure it stood up that way. And then you've got it that one. You can have it like that with just you. Or you can have it displayed with the sentiment. So there's several options for you there. But that there is my never-ending card for you, which has gone a little bit better than my live yesterday. 
there we have it. So, so I've got three of these now. And Jay's seen me make all of them. So, um, I'm still going to have to make something different, aren't I? Um, so, there we have it. So, that is my um, Valentine's Day card. So, I'm going to need to find somebody else who may appreciate these. Um, and give them to some friends who may want to pass them on to their loved ones. So, there we have it. So... That's one. No, that's not the one I've just done today. That's the one I've just done today, isn't it? Because I've got the multicoloured, I've got the multicoloured um, hearts on here. So there we have it. Hope you have enjoyed that. Hope that was a little bit more um, bearable to watch than the live. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased I've just done that again for you. I'm happy with the um, with the outcome of that one as well. Uh, it's worked out really well. So do remember, if you would like to purchase anything from us, you can head over to our online shop, which is matusucrafts.com forward slash shop, or you can just head over to our website, matusucrafts.com. You will find links to our classes will be on there. You will find links to in PDF tutorials. Um, anything which Jay has normally blocked will go on there as well so you can head over to that but yeah do shop with us matusucrafts.com forward slash forward slash shop what's well, a bit of a tongue twister um so there we have it thank you so much for joining me today and i will see you again very very soon um if you're for another live or another pre-record video with something we want to share with you thank you so much for joining us and uh, see you again soon take care for now bye bye <music>